welcome to Monday's Math Session. What is the topic going to be this week, I hear you say? Well, this week we are going to be learning all about takeaway. So we're going to introduce that today for you. And what you will need is something to count with. It can be anything, really. I've got some cubes here. Some Lego would be good. But to be honest, anything that you have lots of is fantastic. So take away, subtract, minus. These words all mean exactly the same thing. And I'm going to mix up which one I use so that we get used to using all of them. But do you know what it means? Have a chat with your grown up and see if you do. So take away is the opposite of adding. So when we add, we bring two groups together. But when we subtract, we start with one big group and we get rid of some of them. And we've got to count how many we've got left at the end. So we will practice that in a minute and do a few questions so that I can show you what I mean. But first things first, we better have a look at the takeaway sign, the minus sign, subtract sign. They all mean the same. Let's have a look. Aha, so it is just a line going straight across. And it does look a bit like the equal sign, which is when we put our answer, but it's only one line. So if you see this, you know that you've got to get rid of some of your numbers. And we're going to end up with a smaller number than we did at the beginning. So let's have a look now at a few questions. I'm going to show you how to work them out and then I'm going to hand over to you and see if you can work some out as well. Just before I show you our first sum, I just wanted to mention that today I'm going to be working within numbers to 10, but feel free to push that on to 20 and beyond and equally numbers between one and five. Any of these will help us get more confident with subtracting. Okay, here's our first one. Can you read it with me? Seven, take away or minus or subtract two. So how many cubes do we need to start with? Well, we always look at the first number in our sum for that. So this one says seven take away two. So we're going to ignore the take away two for a minute. I need a tower of seven. So let's find a tower of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many more? One more. Seven. Okay, so I've got my tower of seven. I'm ready to go. And we know how many we need to start with from the first number in the question. So seven. And now I've got to get rid of some. How many have I got to get rid of? Two. So this is the bit that I don't like very much because the rules of this game today is that any I get rid of, just so I don't get confused and I'm going to get put any I've got left for another question way over there as well. Just so that I don't get confused, I have to sit on the ones that I don't need, the ones that I've taken away, but it does hurt my bottom a bit. So hopefully I won't have to sit on too many cubes in the next question. I only have to do two at the moment. So I've got my seven. I'm going to take away two one at a time and count really carefully. We know it's only two, but sometimes it'll be more. So we need to count carefully, don't we? So one out and two. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to be quick because my bottom really hurts. So all I've got to do now is count how many I've got left in my hand, and that's the answer to seven take away two. Are you ready? One two, three, four, five. So seven subtract two equals five. Right, we can get these out now. Oh, phew, phew. Okay, let's have a look at the next question. Okay, my lovelies. Right, the next question is 10. Subtract four, 10 minus four. So, how many do I have to start with? How many cubes will I need to start with or whatever you're using? 
10. We always look at the first number in the question and that's how many we need to start with. So, you ready? One, two, three, we've got to count carefully. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now the uncomfortable bit, how many do I need to take off my tower and sit on again? We're minusing four. Right, so I've got to take four, count carefully with me. You ready? One, two, three, So let's do some quite fast counting here to find the answer to 10 take away four. Are you ready? We're going to count the ones we've got left in our hand and that will tell us what the answer is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 10 subtract four equals six. Right, let me get these out. One more question and then I'm going to leave it up to you. Right, my lovelies, the last question that we're going to do is this one. Can you tell me what it says? Five take away three. So five subtract three or five minus three. Any of them are correct. Fantastic. So what's the first thing that I need to do then with these? Make a tower of... Five, well done. We always start with the first number in our question. So, I'm going to make a tower of five. You're only one, two, three, four, and five. And now what do I have to do? Yes, I've got to sit on three of them. Okay, sit on three of them. Are you ready? One, two, and three. Out. Okay. I started with five. I've taken my three away. They're out of sight. The other cubes can go over here so I don't get confused. We're only counting the ones in our hand. Okay. So what is five subtract three? Two, the answer's two. Fantastic, well done everyone. Okay, all that remains now is for you to go off and have a little go at that. So I hope that you might be able to find a grown up or an older brother or sister who could give you some questions and you can do exactly the same as I did. Start with their number of cubes or whatever you're using the first number in the question and then take away the rest of them, sit on them and count how many you've got left in your hand. So I hope you really enjoy that and I'll be back tomorrow with another takeaway game. Bye!